good morning. January the 2nd. I want to say good morning to all the uniforms out there, the people that work in uniform. I wish you a great 2022. And I've always had the most up respect for anybody in a uniform. This kind of makes me happy watching people dance and sing. So we're going to get into something else right now. We're going to talk about STRN. Or STRN. STR Strand. Seems to me like this is getting a lot of uh, attention here lately. And I just wanted to look at it. Kind of see where I wanted to get in the trade and what I'm seeing. Strand Company expands management team, including appointment of industrial veteran Steve Pardesio to key leadership role. That was 13 days ago. They closed an offering, private placement of $21 million. That's real good news. That's a catalyst to make a, a, a stock grow. We got Stan, Strand and Company here, reports of 31% revenue growth, 70% increase in profit. So there you go. They're excited about that. Looks to me like everything's... Strand entered a $7 million revolving credit line. There's some more good news. So yeah, they closed the public offering. Seems like they're wanting to build the company. They're in an expansion role right now. And let's go ahead and go straight to the chart. And what I have here set up is the TTM and the Sneaky Snake trade we're seeing a darvis box we've had a like a bottom this is a 20-day darvis box and i'm accustomed to playing these the little blue line in here is right below the pivot point i'd say that pivot point's right at 595 in this chart so we're going to mark that in a red line so i'm looking you know looking for places to exit or a resistance and i'm looking for a place to get into the trade if I want to get into the trade. So I know it's getting a lot of social media attention. I kind of like the news. I like the closing of the offering. So it has my attention. You can see it has a lot of other people's attention too. We did hit a double bottom down here. I appreciate that. She bounced right up. Found resistance at 530. Pulled right back. Found support at 576. So we're right at 510. These are your next resistance levels. To break the Darvis box, you need to break 644. So I'm going to make that a hard resistance. Long, the hard resistance on that 20-day time frame is going to be right. Let me change this here. Right there at whoo, 680. Yeah, I think I like that. And the low support right down here at 520. 531 for a strong buy if that holds anything below it now it can like j hook and come right back up so if that happens and it gets down to 480 somewhere in here and just has a little fast j hook like one day and starts to reverse back up maybe you have three black crows three red days in a row might be a good idea to take this trade but we're looking for it to break 644 and then 680 and that's it. STRN. Low support to hold, 531. Resistance to break, 644. Got a lot of social media attention. Subscribe, ring that bell for future updates on videos. And I surely appreciate it. This one here is brought to you by Strand. S-T-R-A-N. I'm, I'm in the trade. And I'm going to play it in the Darvis box. And then once I'm outside the Darvis box, I use that as support. Have a great day.